what is even going on? We can all argue about how we got here. We were all responsible. It's a catastrophic mess. The risk manager lost control. Goldman and Morgan Stanley are going down now. The missionaries are here. We're in it. You can't just hand the banks piles of cash. And what do I say? When they asked me why it wasn't regulated. Main Street wants Wall Street today. 35,000 jobs just disappeared in the city. I have to start stacking sandbags. I just lost $90 million. First of all. The idea of the next squad uh, being too big to fail. Hello and welcome to another episode of Office Hours with Six Intern. I'm your host, Six Intern, and this is my office. And we are here together for office hours today. I am glad to have you all here. How is everyone doing in the kingdoms? Sound off if you can't hear me, let me know. But otherwise, I'm just going to drop into the flow. I got, uh, you know, light community updates, although there is some fun stuff that just happened in the Discord. And then, uh, you know, Mega put, uh, Mega decided to post me in the Crypto Valley's freaking chat so i will just pop a seed right here at the beginning They're like not not like an expensive one because i'm not crazy I'm not made of yield mega but i won't turn you into like a a pariah over there for you know uh linking or posting a screenshot of a dfk content creator you know you know what i'm saying no, 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 it's far too much. We'll just withdraw like six, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe eight. No, 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 nine, nine. We'll go nine. Yeah, baby. I will pop some seeds, Dimitri. So, would you, like, I, but yeah, I normally, this guy cover DFK content. That is what this stream is about. Thank you, two noobs, for that donation. 1,000 DFK gold. If you want, you can find in the chat, or not in the chat yet, but in the description, to this video, a uh, link to the Donate Live crypto tool, which does allow you to make donations if you like what you see, and if you don't, you have no obligation at all. I will go ahead and drop that into the chat and pin it momentarily here as I just get the link ready. But yeah, normally, this is a uh, DFK channel and that's exactly what it's going to be today but before i go into the dfk i will once i get this link for all of you uh send it on a seed here all right so i just unstick some yield i got 13. Uh, let me get this up on the screen for all of you all right and so here this is crypto valleys of course hot popping new game on uh the Blast chain, which is a chain that launched really recently as an Ethereum L2. Um, a lot of those going around, and uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty fun little gotcha game. Elements of Farmville, elements of DFK, they're adding characters, they have PFPs, and all that stuff. I don't know, I'm riding the hype train, uh, but I, you know, it's hard for me to recommend anyone go into it because I have already, you know, withdrawn my initial plus so I'm really playing on house money here oh man I'm bad at math I need to like get one more to be able to get a pico we'll get some produce we'll see what it hits I think that should be enough once this transaction confirms but yeah I'll just show you the basic mechanics since mega decided to post me in that chat thank you once again to mega and then after that I'm just gonna play some boar hunts for like a whole hour pretty much and I'm probably gonna get maybe one or two in but um shh. no uh, because yeah the title of this episode sounds like a skill issue you know recently heard people say that uh, no I'm just gonna stop there but just said that it takes 20 to 25 minutes to beat a hunt and, uh, you know, I just have a hard time buying that. Let's see what this Pico Seed reveals. Ooh, maybe. Make it legendary. Which is the equivalent of Mythic in the chat. Rare? Not bad at all. Alright. Not bad at all. 
So this rare, I go plant it here in my farm amongst my feebles. I spent 20 yield on it. I get 24 unlocked yield back because it's rare. Nice. Lucky me. And so I plant it. It'll be ready in several hours. This is my feeble farm that I got going. Just like to eke out some XP. But yeah, that's Crypto Valleys, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, People are having fun with it. Um, I, of course, don't recommend you buy anything at all because this is a show about video games. So, with that, I move on back to here where I'm just going to crush hunts, you know. I'm excited to play them. This is the free time I get to do it. Um, like, so I got to do it. Uh, Falaris here, this is like a really bad night. So let's pick her. Yeah, okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. And so as I'm playing, I will just explain how I'm thinking about, you know, my potential to miss whenever it comes up. Because that is something that people have been talking a lot about in the community lately. Uh, is that they're missing too much. And it's like, are you missing too much or are you just not accounting for the fact that you might miss? any given thing when you're making your plan of attack or that something else might not go wrong because very frequently I think it's the latter so we'll see I like to open up with the small stone since it's got the cooldown now just get that cooldown started a little bit of damage you know not too bad to start off with no crits but still good a little poke on both remember with my warriors I like to open up with gladiator strike Yes, sometimes it misses, but either way, it's setting up my accuracy, so I have less of a chance to mix my rapid, miss my rapid onslaught. And just because I'm a gambler, I like to use Mighty Strike on the first turn of my knight. As you see there, as usual, it misses. Not a big deal. Uh, because, you know what? I find you can often get by without that one hitting. One thing that a lot of people are kind of sleeping on to uh, improve their chance to hit is evasion. So this Hunter's Mark... It reduces evasion by 5% when it, it tags them. Uh, so that's one thing you can do to reduce your misses. What I like to do in the Bad Mother Cluckers fight, which I'll try to show as I'm playing here later, is uh, when the big Bach is casting the Mighty Gust, I like to drop the Hunter's Mark right then because Mighty Gust gives her and the little chicks minus or uh, uh, plus 10 evasions so you're offsetting that buff by half i think a lot of people might find if they went and looked back that a lot of their really you know their most crucial or poorly timed misses were while the birds had that you know status effect making their evasion higher because i have noticed it does have a strong impact on whether my own heroes hit and that's kind of how the game is designed to work in that regard see my knight finally managed to get some hits in with the evasion buff on this boar. Slowly working down the middle one. Draw a nuzzle, nice, that's one. Second boar is primed in case mama starts to charge. Uh, we'll just do a basic attack here, get the rotation restarted. A little damage. 46 on the mama, that's nice, she starts to charge. And now, ooh, so I really, I really would like this Forever Vigilant to hit. That would be awesome. It does. 164. So I have a chance to do that much damage. I might not do that much damage. Would it be better for me to go to the, go for the small stone route? Possibly. But then if I crit the, uh, the back one, but I don't crit the front one, or I miss the front one, um, like basically if I do anything but hit a crit on the front one, they're gonna get an extra nuzzle off, guaranteed. Uh, unless I also miss the middle one, in which case why am I, you know, I don't want to optimize for a double miss. So there we'll just go for the piercing arrow, does get the kill on the front one. Very nice, got lucky. I did have repeating strikes, or a uh, gladiator strike, excuse me, lined up to try to get it on the next turn if it was blocked or a miss. But as it is, that's really advantageous that it hit, so I can go for it here. 135, very nice. Gonna be able to kill him easily unless I get triple stunned. No stuns, really lucky. So I'm good to go. Now I can, he's probably gonna miss. It's Mighty Strike, 80% chance to hit. I kinda just assume he's gonna miss. There it is. 
Um, now because I do have two turns, multiple turns with the archer, I am going to go for this small stone, get the cooldown going again. This is kind of an optimal time to do it, because if it hits, that's awesome. Yeah, there we go. Missed the bat guy, but oh well. Got pretty much all of that boar's health down, and I think now I'm going to even just reset this warrior, not waste all the mana and damage from Rapid Onslaught, just start over a basic attack. My knight's one chance to get a daze on this guy. Let's see if he hits it. Hits the a strike, but not the daze. Unfortunate. Would have been just an easy secure from there if he hit the daze. 147. All right. Do I get lucky? 5% chance for a daze here. Or maybe not, because I do have the gore blade on this guy in the middle. Nope, big miss. Block, though. Kaha. Turnabout is fair play, so I will take the block on my super low health knight. 147, question here, hmm. I will just go ahead and use health potion because I only need to use one really, I think, to get my knight in a place where I should be able to close out the game, and he can't attack the back. Knight's taunted, waste of a turn. Let's see how this mighty strike goes. Roll the dice, it comes up. Oh, dice, I hit him that time. And just in time, got the physical damage or physical defense debuff on for Rapid Onslaught. We love that. 234. Got a bleed from the Gore Blade. Love that as well. Now it's just a cheeky small stone this time. Probably should go with the piercing shot, but hey, maybe I do hit this crit. Oh, 231. Nice. Cheeky. Cheeky attempt gets the, uh, you know, give RNG a chance to work for you. I just auto attack from here, no mana left, but three autos should do the trick handily. Handily. So yeah, not even a problem, I missed a bunch. Right? It's gotta account for the fact that you're gonna miss when you're thinking about this stuff. Like, I know that didn't look shitty, but Flaris actually, the knight, gives me trouble winning very frequently. I, I don't like using her very much. But she did miss, as I predicted, which was great. Uh, let's see what these guys look like. <laughs> Sinead's pretty bad, in my experience. So that's 14. Indigo. 35 decks. Yeah, we'll go with you, you. And what, Hetty, what are you looking at here? We'll go for a round of 14ers. 18 decks. Oh, Nighty's not bad. We'll, we'll throw Headley the Knight on there. And so these are really some of my heroes that I normally try to put in teams where they're getting carried by like other ones who are staggered on, in level on either side. So like I'll play with 15, 14, 13 and put these guys in as the 14s, for example. But they're, they're not like my carrying heroes, they're my being carried heroes. So let's see how I do with them. I think, you know, it might, I might, there's good odds I lose this game because these are really, I don't have a lot of confidence in these guys. Chat, how's it going? You guys look like you're having fun. Thank you, Bias Shady. Thank you, Beave. Thank you, Two Noobs, Dimitri Fuentes, Christian Peter. Dags, Michael, Logie, Mega, and Jeremy and Skiller for all stopping by to say hi. That's one boar hunt down in the hour. We're 13 minutes in, even after my little preamble. How do I feel about the egg drop nerf rate? Asks, or he guess at everyone. So, I mean, everyone in chat, feel free to chime in. I, I think it's good. Like, it feels necessary. If uh, I'll check out Foundry after this game. Or we can just pull it up. DFK Foundry. Doo -doo. Uh, token supply. Let's go to pet eggs. Blue pets. They're at they're over 200k eggs. Like they're not. Hatching is putting no dent into the growth of those. Gold pet eggs are the ones you buy with gold. There's only 20, almost 20, or 21.5ish k. And then green pet eggs, only 52. Right? So really they're hitting, they're reducing this one by a factor of 10. They're hitting the other ones way harder, it sounds like, the gray and the blues. Yellow, one, yeah, over 115, maybe 116, yellow. And then let's check this one out. Gray is 
actually, whoa, it kind of dipped. Or it's kind of steady there. Interesting. One, oh, yeah, I guess it did dip. 190, or no, that's the value. Yeah. Uh, 199.184. So, yeah, there's a shload of those. Uh, what did I miss? Ask what in the DFK is this. You missed me popping a seed in Crypto Valleys, and you missed my very first game of the hour. I'm just playing for an hour straight, talking about when the chance of missing factors into my you know thought process and all that jazz and i mean really here's why it should always factor in it's like all right even if you have an 80 percent hit rate right that means your expected outcome is to miss at least one out of every five, every five times you even go for an attack now you don't always get your expected outcome because we're playing in small sample sets, like a game is a very small sample set, so you could have just weird results all in one game, that, that it does happen, but you should at least expect to miss some of the time. Even if you have 90%, even if you have 99%, you should expect to miss some of the time. And that should always factor into your decision making. Hmm. You're confused. I don't know if I can rely on you to heal yourself, so I'll heal that. Did a good little leapfrog there, past the day, or past uh, one of the chickies. Knight's taking damage, but we're gonna w risk it for the biscuit on the mighty strike. Hits it nice. Um, you go for the gladiator strike. Nice. I'm getting a bunch of hits in a row. That's really lucky. Let's let's. Roll the dice, right? See what this uh, one small stone pulls up for us. Oh, two hits, but nothing really special. Blinded and confused, always fun. My Sinead is just getting beat up. Um, we'll give Hetty here a potion. You see how I like days with this exhausted? Pushes her so far back. She's had been so long since she's had a turn. Can you unblind yourself with this potion? Or will you basic attack the knight? Nah, nice work, son. Nice work. All right, cheeps are down. Oh, and, there's, and one's back up. We'll go ahead and drop this, start putting damage on the back. The lowest I can get to mama to is sub 325. What I like to do is I take the total health, round up to the nearest 100, and then divide by four, because every number in that you know that is uh, divisible by 100 is also divisible by four and it's really easy to kind of figure out what your like bound is so here 1286 right round up to 100 that's 1300 divided by four 325 and so that's where i'm aiming to be not not below that before i have the burbs relatively good to die so in the spirit of that i'm not going to use mighty strike here in case it hits i do some damage to this middle bird I am going to just drop a taunt on this back bird with Sinead. Oh, missed, but I still get unstoppable from it. See, so I still get the unstoppable, which is nice, because she might still cast cheap. At least one of my three heroes cannot be confused, which lowers the odds that one of them will. Not sure what I want to do with the knight. I think just continue potion jockeying to the warrior this time not really ready to kill the bird because I want to get the second one down lower oh there's cheap out nice no confusions confusions all right so I really got to hit this one it's pretty crucial did nice all right and now I would really love to hit this one and if I don't, I'm going to have to wait another round of turns. Nice. Hit it. Got a daze. No taunt, though. Hmm. See, so what I could do is just hit, here, hit her with the knight, get some damage onto both of these guys, kill the middle one, probably. And then, since the middle one's up next, then we'd skip that one, then it would be my archer's turn. And my archer... I could just go for the piercing arrow, which if I hit, will do enough damage to kill this guy. However, if I do this plan, there's no risk of it turning into a demon because I still have plenty of buffer on health. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. 
So my downside is mitigated because it, it can't turn into a demon. Oh wait, I kinda, now that I'm here, I kinda wanna just attack this guy again. It shouldn't kill this guy, I'm hoping. Woo, so close. That was pushing it. That was pushing it. <laughs> Oof. All right, Mama's turn. She's probably gonna body slam. No, she can't. She's probably gonna lay egg. That's right, she has to. Has to lay egg if it's off cooldown and one of the babies is dead. Um, so now I'm gonna try to set up into the kill mode, right? So I, I'm gladiator strike. Hits, really nice. Gets the kill on the back one. Now what I wanna do is hit. Really would love to hit this mighty strike. Hits 141. Now, uh, do I take the risk or do I go for certainty? Risk or certainty? Risk or certainty? Risking it with the small stone because I, I can try to get a little bit of damage on both at the very least, which is not bad result. All right, because now I have my warrior with rapid onslaught. And so I can get to the point where mom's dead, likely, as long as I hit probably half of my rapid onslaught strikes. Because remember, there's four attacks in there. So if I hit half and then my knight can go for a basic attack and basic attacks have higher accuracy than um, your other abilities 86 percent compared to the 80 i'm normally swinging and that removes like a quarter of my negative results if you think of it as like a, a die a, like a, a dice you know a singular dice um by taking that five percent accuracy from the basic attack on my knight it improves it, it removes a quarter of the bad results, the ones I don't want to have. And because it's this is the egg, the egg has very low mobility, I have a 96% chance to hit with a mighty strike. I need 65 damage done. How much will this one do? Ooh. This is tough. Okay, I think I go for Forever Vigilant because it could do enough damage to kill the egg. But even if it doesn't do enough damage to kill the egg, it has a chance to daze the egg. So, whereas if the Mighty Strike gets blocked, egg probably lives and there's nothing else I can do about it. So here I'm factoring in that that random roll might not happen by giving myself two random rolls that would be successful. Look at that. Hits the daze but not the kill, and now I get an extra bunch of turns pretty much guaranteeing that I get the win. Alright, let's check on chat. Uh, I've now been going for 22 minutes. That's two games done with like myself common like talking through my thought process. So I had a very slow clip. Shout out to those of you who are playing with the multi box mm -hmm. trick that uh, has recently become popular. Saw Dags put out a video on it. Uh, I can't I can't do that. I would mess up too much. You see how much thought I'm putting into this in every turn. I I just yeah I would lose focus and it would not be good for me, frankly. Um, at all. Let's let's go ahead and do a fun one. Shapeshifter. And let's, let's see his buddies. He's got two buddies. I'm power leveling these guys with my level 20 shapeshifter. Sorry, Hubert, if you don't like it. Um, Thingrit and Raw Dribbler are both 13 now. Raw Dribbler just leveled up. And so they are now what? Yeah, 26 together, 46. Ah, I get an average level. What, what's 46 divided by 3? 16? Or by 15 with the remainder, so 16. Uh, average level 16 for these guys. That's some good XP for these little 13s. Not gonna lie. Um, we'll put you, then you, then remove the archer from the filter, and. Oops, I removed the shapeshifter too. There we go. Alright. So I'm actually going to switch this one up. Because I have been playing this build and I'm using the middle with the piercing shot with flurry and then piercing arrow one small stone because these abilities all have pierce. So I kind of like still taking the crit chance with it because you have pierce on the abilities. And my strength is like not great on a lot of these archers, so like I think I, I think I'd rather have the extra crit chance off of the decks, which is 51 on this level 13 archer, as you can see. Uncommon. 
But I mean, Franz likes to show off legendaries. I just, I've just got something that's a little uncommon. That's all. You know. Shout out to the bog side. Missed you guys this week. Um, but yeah, this one is a fun one. I've been grinding these guys for XP every day. Nothing I want more than that at this point in time. Everything's pretty much lining up as I expected, where like I'm getting kind of close to 20 with some of my best heroes um, in the months leading up to the launch of PvP, which is kind of just where I wanted to land. If I'm being totally honest with you, like I felt no need to stand pot before then, because for me, that's like what my target was. I just wanted to be at the applicable level cap by the time we got to the launch of PvP. I got my first level 20 this week. That's Galforn here in the middle. Big crit. Wow. We'll just go ahead and leave that dude alive. Um, but yeah, Galforn here is level 20 now. Very first one. Excited about it. Like, you might, I might just end up using him against you in the Coliseum when you least expect it. I'm gonna drop it. And you're gonna be like, what the hell is this guy doing with 20.7? evasion and don't forget about the foresight on top you're never gonna hit me you're already worried about misses better get used to it you're gonna be missing me all day baby all day on Galford. Uh but I'm also trying to get Rob Rose Punch who is my warrior summon or uh, funny combo but he's got good mana for a warrior subclass um, does subclass matter I don't know ask the mythic squad I'd say yes subclass matters a lot impacts the stats on the secondary growth and you just see it you know change your luck a little bit own it so here what is my max health 1475 round up to 1500 that's what 300 plus 75 yeah 375 all right can't go below 375 and i'm currently at 565 with one cheap i think if i just go for this basic attack i'm good Wondering if I should use a preemptive anti-blinding potion, though. Nah. Let's just attack him. Get some damage on the back one, get him closer to 375. Missed! Oh. Should have used that potion. And he has, like, a 90-something percent hit rate. I'll show it to you. On his next turn. Ooh, but I... Hey, turn about is fair play, motherfucking birds. Um, uh -huh. so we'll just do one multi-shot into the back guy. Oh, really weak. Big, he missed two of those three arrows for sure. Gotta follow up with the piercing arrow. Could kill him. Don't know if I'd love that result, but if it happens, it happens. Oh my god, it did. Wow, I just leveled her up. She's so strong now, holy shit. I literally can't attack with Galform, but that's okay. This Roger Bird needs help, and I gotta give it to her. That was so dope, 193, you see that? What? Son? Son? There's the way egg. And now, uh, I'll try to finish off the mid bird with a hit there. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. miss, because I have freaking 20.7% Agi, or evasion. Guess how much Agi this guy has, yeah. 64 it's absurd all right so here let's try let's see how the the rapid i like rapid shot on two targets i think it's pretty optimized in that scenario a block on the egg which is annoying but at least got some damage on it and then uh hit a 180 crit i think or something around that on the mama block that's good 183 wow so close all right don't miss don't miss, or I get body slammed for sure. Okay, he hits. Good. Good, good, good. Speed our speed's falling off. Alright, now it's just multi-shot into the egg. Hit rate's 100. Oh man, crits for 89. Good stuff. Uh, and you, you drop this into the egg. 129. Left with 55 health. It's gonna be close. I might have to try to kill the chicken. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. Get it. I got it. There we go. Easy dubs. And that's now three in 29 minutes. And like, I don't know. Uh, yeah. J Dub, welcome to the chat. Koopa, welcome to the chat. KP says, dude, these chickens are too easy for you. I mean, you should see the people who are actually good at the game, though, KP. But I'm like, skiller. 
uh, the MSVHT finalists and winner of pool. Champion, excuse me. Oh, Thrifty giving me my one health potion back. It knew. Look at that, 1463 XP on both these guys. I did the boar hunt with them earlier. Easy 2500 plus XP I'm getting on them. Like closer to 27, honestly. I'm getting on them each day. Um, you just burn through levels. It's If you just focus, you gotta focus on that one. So that's what I've been doing. Is I've, I really want the axe. If I'm being honest with you, chat, I want the gore axe. It is, it is a must have for me. So I need it. I really need it. This time, why don't I show a hand, go ahead and show off my like wide level stra stagger. So I have a uh, level 17, a level 13, and a level 15 here. Ronnie boy was so bad, but I've, I've focused up his decks, used some crystals and some primary rolls. He's finally above 20, thankfully. But what, so what I'm doing here is I have heroes who are staggered two levels apart from bottom to top, so 13, 15, 17, and they form an average of the middle, which is 15, and I like to make the uh, hero who is on the average level the tank, and then um, you know if I have a healer, they, they can be the one below. Uh, it, it, I would prefer the healer to be the one who's below level if I run a healer and the damage to be the one above, but I personally don't run healer very often, so normally it just is, you know, I find a tank and find two, one up and down by two levels on either side. This gives you a really strong hero potentially going up against ones two levels below it, and you can kind of use um, a stronger lower level that you're trying to grind with a high, get it, uh, some higher average level XP. So we'll fire this one up. I understand. Should I like try to find another one while, while that one's loading? Start now. Good. Let's just do it. Let's just do it, ladies and gentlemen. The axe is fantastic, says Jeremy. I really want it. I really, really want the axe. Oh. It looks so fun to play with, and I have all these warriors who are just begging for it, you know? All right, let's go small stone. Here on the front one. Nice, she's higher level, 17. Uh, not one of my better luck, I mean, she is one of my better luck archers at 22, but like not super high compared to the average, especially for 17, right? But you're still getting 100 damage on uh, non-crits for that small stone, so I really do like opening with it, even against the boars. Uh, here I'm going again, Gladiator Strike, open up, setting up that combo for turn two on the Rapid Onslaught, and then we do the Honorary Mighty Strike roll of the dice before I put up the uh, Forever Vigilant buff. Ah, and it's a miss, uh, as it so often is on the first turn. It's kind of got to expect it. I, I like to get it out early in a way. Not that it doesn't happen more later, but you know, it helps me mentally. It helps me mentally adjust to that whole situation. Uh, I'm of course kidding. Oh, and I just realized I may not. No, you. No, no. I don't know if you have music or not. You might not. There you go. There you go, friends. Uh, there we go. All right, got the damage in with my combo. Really like that. 149. Will I? Is there any chance that I kill this guy? There's a six percent chance of a crit on an 80% chance of a hit. It's really like a 4.8% chance that I kill the guy with it. Let's just use it. Miss, but I got the buff up. It's two misses in a row, I think, this night, by the way. How crazy is that? How does that happen? It happens. Um, here, we're gonna go with we got the nuzzle drawn, so we're gonna just continue pumping damage on the front oh, Mute second browser, please. Oh my god, I had a second browser playing shit. It is muted. Everything's muted in it. I just closed it. Oh, there we go. I just closed it. There we go. I found it. It was the second tab. Yeah, I, I, I got there. J Dooms. Slow, slow as usual. Um, I do want to set up the combo. I kind of want to get that big damage in. I'm going to go with the Gladiator Strike. It's going to cost me later because she has low health, or er, low mana. 
but we'll see if that matters. Because now I can try to use just a basic attack with my knight, who, who got missed, uh, which has the higher hit chance, and finish off this kill. There we go, got it done. And then uh, now, gotta roll this dice on the daze. Would love to hit a daze on this exhaust. Nope, but I did triple hit the mid bore, which like kind of cool with that. That's why I, I kind of like rapid shot. It's just like you, there's a lot of situations where it's like it could do this or do this or do this or do this, and it's like I, I kind of I'm okay if it does any of those things. It does the night hit. Oh, he does. Gets his first one in. Or his second one. He, he had to warm up with that basic attack. That's right. Ah, I think here I'm going to go for the um, small stone because a, a hit should kill the boar unless it's a block, which it could happen. Um, and it gives me the chance to get the small stone crit on the mama and maybe use it later if I need to. Oh, of course, the crit and the hit were backwards. Say la vie. Didn't need all that damage on the middle boar, but uh, not going to, you know, cost me the game. Or really be a problem in the end so now the real question is whether to even try for mighty strike or actually try to close the game out let's let's just go for it I would love to have the first one hit here get that debuff yeah got the debuff 25% less physical defense and now we're just cranking out shots there's a 198 crit nice resist Ooh. Ooh, you were just getting worked, Mama Boar. Shout out to Doug Hype. I like the Doug Hype Busy. Finally made this knight look cool for once. He's got these shades. Put it on him at the same time he got that level up that fixed his decks. Because it was like a... He got a lot of points in decks from like the Mythic Rarity level up. He was shit. He was like at like 15 or something. And he got 6 points. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh you're usable. You are usable! Thank goodness he was not usable. For when Boar Hunts first came out, level 12, he had no decks. It was like at 12 or 11. Couldn't hit anything. I was like, I wouldn't use him. I let him level up from profession questing until he got like to 13 and then focus decks on that level with a, a primary roll and a, st a crystal. I think I got one point on it for like two levels and then six off that the mythic roll on the level uh, 15. Which is really nice. Alright. So that's another one in. What did I say I was going to go check out in between? Oh, I did already. Sir Worm, are you just behind on the stream or do I still have two songs going? Oh no, I worry. worry sometimes let's see uh, who's available in the BMC Brovia is hard he's late it's all good man you're not missing much just honestly not missing much more than me playing hunts uh -huh. hmm who do I have on cooldown? Let's check out my archers and warriors first. I like archers and warriors best, so I filter by them first. Now scroll down below all my little questers. All right, ooh, you haven't done it yet. Unless, unless refresh actually. Might need a refresh. Thank you, Koopo. Welcome, Brovia. Welcome, Ogre. Oh, okay. Worm is behind for some reason, unbeknownst to him, but noticed to the writers of the simulation in which we are living. This season's good. Ooh, Benny leveled up there. All right. Wait, hold up. I might have to level up Benny. Um, that's big. Benny. Yes. Quick swap at trader. Continue. Alrighty, and then uh, let's see what Benny is looking like. 31 dex, 30 vit, 38 strength, 15 luck. I think I'm going to go with strength, dex, agi, and give him a strength lesser stone. He's not a stone hero. Uh, lesser might crystal, I mean to say. Yeah, we'll go with this. Waiting for my transaction there to finish out.
Word on the street is Majin sold his Excalibur. That's cool. I didn't know anyone owned King Arthur's Sword of Yore. Let's see. Watch me get rugged on this level up. I'm really excited for it. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Ooh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. The rugging. Mmm. The rugging. Yeah, baby. Shout out to everyone in the chat. Uh, pretty excited about everything that's going on in the community lately. Jewelers Guild, you know, been featured in that thing I saw on Twitter from Feezy. That was pretty cool, guys. Pretty excited for you. Good job getting your name out there. Good job. Shout out. But by the way, join the Mythic Squad. The Mythic Squad. A passion for making monsters can't be killed. I'm manifesting a rug, says Ogre, but in fact, it was not. I got the triple strength, double dex, one in the Agi, even though it wasn't the one in the bonus that I expected. Uh, some, you know, some good stuff at the bottom is always nice for the mana level ups and the luck for the loot, and even one endurance. The only thing I didn't hit was the vit. And kind of a low health level up with only 25 at 30 vit is kind of annoying. That is a low health roll, 10 plus half of my vit. I got 25 health there. Uh, would have preferred more, but can't be mad with the three strength finally bringing Benny over 40. Yeah, okay. Now let's go see if I can use him straight away. Haha, -ha, I can. All right, so I can just go freaking jets here, man. 16, 15, 17. Um, but instead of this 15, I want this 15. There we go. Alrighty, so here I'm gonna run double warrior. Um, should I still use this archer even though I'm not using a second one to support it? Uh, screw it, I'll just try it. I've been playing around with this um, channeling build. It's not bad. I, I certainly am not, not a fan of it. Uh, so yeah. Ooh, thank you for the donation from uh, Need Me Some Office Hours from Brovia. I had the chat box hiding it from me. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, in the chat. Oh, and I forgot to actually, you know, of course, if you also want to donate, the link is now pinned in the chat and is in the description of this video, whether you're watching now or later. Uh, so yeah, I think on this one I'm going to lead off with the dead end because I want that extra initiative. I really like extra initiative and uh, fat damage on the big block early game is kind of crucial so to uh, ensure that you get it in before cheaps come out and make it difficult for you later on. So on both warriors I'm going with the gladiator strike into the re repeat rapid onslaught on the second turn. One of them missed, one of them's now blinded, which is really actually quite annoying because he's the next one up for me. So I'm gonna have to decide, do I wanna use his turn for trying to get that hit in or, you know, nah. So I have, what, 68%, there's no way. There's no way I'm doing that. Take this anti-blind potion, it does leapfrog me. So I will have a chance to begin my combo again. And right now I do have this one at least coming up from Mr. Woodscreen and into only one cheap. Very good. Lucky days. I'll take that all day. And then we'll start you over with the Gladiator Strike. And uh, you probably, I should have used a potion, but whatever, we'll use the Archer to recover. And she leapfrogs back to behind the, the Warrior. That's good. Block, blocks, good. Confused, not stoked on that. Taking a lot of damage, Benny. Maybe I do need to pump your endurance, I'm not gonna lie. Um, on this guy, I think I am actually gonna just still hit the basic attack, yeah. Cause you have a lot of health. 967, we're at 475. That means it's about 375 is our limit. Uh, gonna go ahead and just drop another dead aim onto the Mombok. And with Benny here, I'm gonna try to use his confused turn. He, he's, just, he's, I gotta try to potion him. I gotta try. Ah, it doesn't work. Game told me no. That bird's gonna die now. 
for sure. As soon as she casts this next spell. But he, Benny's dead before that, for sure. Yes, I lost Benny. He's not having a good showing after that level up. Gotta tell you that. I gotta tell you that. Oh, yeah. Oh, the cheat fell off, so he didn't die. Interesting. So this creates interesting opportunities to potentially come back. Ooh, not with misses like that, though. <laughs> oh, well. You know, if this ends up being the first loss on the stream, I will not actually be that pissed if I'm making sure to go. Um, hmm. So, this has a chance to f do some damage to all three and force her to cast the Lay Egg, which is what I want to do, I think, just to mitigate damage against me. Sadly, I didn't get damage to the back chicken. But that's alright. That's okay. I guess. I guess that's alright and that's okay. Um, what do you have? 611, and this does at peak 284. I should be well within reason to go for this one. Yep, I have 494 health left, 119 above my limit there. Gonna get body slam, double stun incoming. Oh, only one stun, nice. Egg starts charging up. That's all good. Heal with the warrior. And with this chick, go for the kill on this guy. I'm gonna try to kill the back bot and then use the combo with twin arrows to hit both her, the mom bot and the chicken after it comes out the egg. The only question is what to do with the warrior here. So 34 mana, you have 57 left. Should be all right. How much damage does this do? 296 raw, should be all right. I think I go for a basic attack and I hope I get that 5% daze chance while she's exhausted, because that would be awesome. Just like, let's just see if that happens. Doesn't happen. She does have oh, some resistance. No daze resist, though. But it was a 5% chance. Didn't really expect it to happen, just giving it a chance to. Killed the back bird. Now Mama is coming off her exhaust turn, but Leia Egg still has two turns on cooldown. Kazor takes a hit. Oh, that confuse ruins me. That ruins my whole plan. That ruins my whole plan, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it ruins my whole plan. Because now I can't cast channeling abilities. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and try to taunt. I have one more egg or turn until the mama can use. Oh, this seems like a bug. I shouldn't be able to cast Precision Strike. Does it work? Hard to tell, because I did a basic attack. Ah, uh, yeah, that basic attack screws me. And now I'm getting a chicken coming up, and then Kazor's dropping out like what? Uh, yeah, he's got nothing to do as the loss. We'll call it there. Let's go ahead and retry. First loss. Damn. Damn, guys. Damn. Chick was on to me. Ogre says he doesn't even clear the blindness. I respect it. I respect people doing that. I think it's a valid strategy. It's just not my preference. I think, uh, like, it, uh, I have done it in situations, some situations. Especially if I have like an archer doing multiple attacks with one and I just need like a little bit of damage But if I'm trying to do like a reach with a lot of bursts like at the high end of the damage range And it's just like and I have that chance to miss that I just don't feel confident doing it um, Excuse me there I think I'm gonna just try to go for the same thing though because I'm a glutton for punishment All right channeled dead aim to the back Bach Benny's taken wax, can't defend himself, needs armor badly. And my guy, Kazor here, 
Yeah, he can leapfrog. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. See, what I'm doing here is I, I anti-blind, and then he leapfrogs the entire set, so it's his turn again. So that's why I like I wanted to do it there. Is essentially just a free turn for using the potion, and it undoes the crowd control effect. You know. All right, here comes the dead end. Pop. Two sixty-nine. Nice. Nice. And now, what I'm gonna try to do is, yeah, good. Got my damage coming in with Benny this time. Two eighty-eight raw without being re mitigated by the uh, cheeps. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I think. I think I'll do this, and then do another dead aim on my next turn. Just kind of give it another round to see how it shakes out with my warrior attack. Did get a bleed onto the mom, gotta be careful about that. 30 physical damage. Let's see what this does for me. Do have a sheep out, that's gonna kill this back bird. So lay, oh, it didn't kill her. Nice. Low damage output there, but I did get the daze, which I'm kind of cool with. So now what can I do with you? You have one turn of confusion, let's try to heal yourself. Dropping a potion right after you've used an ability that has a two-turn amnesia is also really powerful because it's like you're cutting your, your cooldown a little bit um, because you're using that turn and you're moving your next turn up. So that's another thing you can do to mitigate the impact of cooldowns. Uh, you know, just spitting thoughts here. Now this time I'm going to go ahead and cast the dead aim on the mom, big front chicken, because she's got the double cheeps up. <clears throat> Yeah, double cheeps are up. And then, oof, you're blinded, huh? Let's go ahead and try to... That's tough. Wait, what does this get me? A jump to there. It's pretty good. So now I'm unblinded. And now I have the middle guy. He's got two turns on his cooldown. Could use a potion. I'm gonna use a taunt on the middle. Uh, Bach, not because I care that it's taunted. I just wanted to get some damage. It is taunted for two turns though. That might end up giving me some flexibility. We'll have to just wait and see on that. All right, and now uh, my warrior is up again. I think this time I go for just a gladiator strike on the mama. It's not gonna bring her into the demon range. Should kill the back one does takes a little bit of pressure off of my front there and now that now that archer attack does pretty much take her to where the bleed is going to send it um so what i really need to do is i kind of screwed myself actually by taunting the chicken because if i could taunt her right now that would be really awesome but she has a taunt resistance for three turns because what could happen is she hits me with this mighty gust i get triple slowed and then Baby Rockbok is attacking before these guys, becomes a demon. But she won't become a demon at least yet, I don't think. I think it would be on the next turn. I think I just try to get the damage on the baby still all the same with the taunt. I can't get triple slowed because I was unstoppable. Hey, good point. Good point, chat. I can only get single slowed, but that guy's already way behind. Double slowed. Yep, there it is. There it is. She does split the difference of my heroes. Ugh. I'm in dire straits here, ladies and gentlemen. Straits are dire. This has a low chance of success if it gets a crit on the mid one, but it, she does have that evasion buff. Miss. There we go, I get a demon. All right. Dead being it. Benny? No, Benny's not dead. All right, that means good. I can drop at least the Mombok and limit it to just this one demon. Not bad. All right. The question then becomes what to do next. Uh, we'll just go ahead and use that. Give you a potion, get some health back. Trying to wait for the speed buff to really die down. This time I'll use, ooh, I kind of want to save a potion for the mana. Maybe I will use just, I'll just do this, one hit. So Gladiator Strike instead of Rapid Onslaught because it only strikes once. 
So at most I'm giving it one proc of its haste buff or whatever shield it's gonna get. You know, and here there's 56. Miss, nice. All right, so now huge plays. 298 raw damage is what I'm going for. 350 health on this dude. All right, T then. Uh, I will just go for this, because if it hits, I, I could win the game right now. That's the last strike, and there you go. It had a 50-ish percent chance of hitting. I just throw it in when I get in those situations. Most of the time, it actually doesn't hit, so I didn't. You could hear it in my voice. I didn't expect it to, but it, it did that time, which is nice. Which is nice. I really like it. I really like it. Yeah, I agree with Ogre's saying there about Confused being more impactful than Blind. I, I do agree with that. Like, because if it comes down to it at the end of the game... Actually, no. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, because Confused is the combo breaker, in my opinion. You're blinded, you can still do your combo and like have a chance of getting it off. Whereas Confused just kind of like really does a good job of freaking up your combos. It's either gonna give you a basic attack or, like even if you hit one of the enemies, you're still not getting what you wanted, really. All right. Uh, let's see who I have available for the Mad Boars. All right, sweet. Do I have any archers down below who are high level? I gotta make sure I get my high level archers. I'm trying to get up every day. There we go. I got, I need to get Anuthi and Kaithis. All right. We'll apply potions to both of you. And then uh, we'll go to Warrior. Are there any high level warriors that I want to get up? Uh, none who are 16. Aggravating. Let's check my. Use the only 16 knight I have. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead for a different strategy then. I will uh, instead show off one of my low warriors who I'm trying to level up. I guess I need the archers first, don't I? Sixteen, sixteen, thirteen. 16, 13. I want Adele instead of Kaithi. There. Kaithi's is close to leveling. Let's just do you two. But you go in the middle. There we go. Hey, these goes in the middle because she lets me down more often than Anuthi. All right. So Deceit here, this warrior, is one that I leveled up with a stone at Dark Summoner. Greater Might. With uh, also, what was it? Four tier bonus. He's got 44 strength. Level... 12. 21 dex, 18 agi. Yeah. He wrecks. That's the power of dark summoning. If you have further questions on it, please direct them to the Mythic Squad. The Mythic Squad. The game's new. Alrighty, so just got my first attack off, did a one small stone at the beginning, as I said, with Kaithis there, she crit the front four, hit the middle one normally. Uh, I think this one I'll go Piercing Arrow first turn with her. Nice, big 148 damage on the front four. It's already at the point where it's getting a uh, heal from its buddy. And then our, our lowly level 13 knight in here, hitting for 147 with the... Gladiator Strike. I love having this low, high dex, low level. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. But I love leveling up even better because then I can get really high dex, really high level, and like really high strength too. Don't sleep on that. I am old. Uh, go ahead and start the headbutts. Gonna both come at my back one because she's casting the channel ability, whatever it's called, whatever it may be. So, he's going to, she's going to get headbutted by both of the boars, unless the first one interrupts the headbutt. Ooh, that's kind of, that's a wide range. 450, she's got 382 health left, do I just go for it? No. 
I think I'll just go ahead and uh, use the health potion. Better to save the combo, have the health, and then use it when at a better time, when there's zero risk of you know downside. Now Mama's charging up. This is great. We can try to kill. Oh, first one does get the daze. I'm ruined. Everything is gone. It's it's all over. My whole plan is ruined. It's all gone. Big hit, 144. Uh, we'll just go with, hmm, what are you at health-wise? 345. You're level what, 15? As much as I want to set up my rapid shot combo for the turn after she uses this, I'm gonna play ultra conservative and heal the guy. And uh, that was worth it because he's now gonna take at least one more hit. All right, we'll use another piercing. Get that out the way. All right, down to 80. I can use the multi-shot here. Hopefully get the kill in just one strike, but it's honestly could not happen. Does happen, 88, barely got it. 82. You're bleeding for three now. You're, you're running on fumes, but you're gonna get this combo in for the life of you. See, you're doing it. Oh, 255. What a G. Um, healing potion. Yeah, healing potion, because the boar's up next. And then I get a chance to see how this combo goes. Because if I daze this guy, oh, big hit. Now it's just, all right, easiest choice of my life. Basic attack, kill. 100% hit rate. There is no RNG. There was the block, though, so there was still RNG. You see that? But fortunately, I had accounted for that in the amount of damage done as well. Because I could have used the piercing arrow if I wanted more damage done. And now our last ditch hope for a daze is not going to happen. Because I have no sword, I'm pretty sure can do. Um, but yeah. Alright. So from here, it's easy town cleanups, you know? And you just watched me get two games in a row with a Nuthi, all that XP is so juicy and glorious. It is so juicy and glorious. I'm just gonna spam dead aim for the initiative since it's this part of the game and initiative is the only thing that really helps me close it out. Um, one last hit with DC before he dies, unless I get taunted. Oh, and he throws it away on a miss. And he's gone. He's gone. Dang, dude, you missed so many there, KT. He's only 82. You're just blowing it. But it's okay. Because I know you're going to miss some of the time. Just like professional athletes do. So really, yeah, there's there's an hour of boar hunts, or void hunts. Um, yeah, yeah, after this game, I'll call it on my counter. We'll go see how many I got done in that span of time. Including, you know, some time spent on Crypto Valley, some time spent showing off the egg charts, talking to you guys in the chatters, chat, chat. 117 block, oh no, I am ruined. I am ruined, oh no. Ain't nothing but ain't nothing at all, really. It's too easy out here. Being cheesy. When I did that level up, Benny's level up. Gosh, I gotta get him like something, some armor or something. Or oh, the axe. Oh. Game, no axe. It's okay. I will keep trying. Let's see how many I got. Uh, so minus one, because I did do one before stream. So six in, in that hour. Pretty good. Average 10 minutes. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, thank you for you know sitting through what's got, what has to have been the most dull episode of Office Hours I have ever done. Um, I appreciate all of you for bearing with me. And before I go, oh, I have these friendly words about, you know, the pit. You level up like that, you get put in the pit. 
right away. No Mashas, no nothing. No stone heroes, yeah, we, we put them right in the pit. All basic abilities, right to the pit. Archers under 50 decks, in the pit, right away. Rarity is too low, you go in the pit. Also, if your rarity is too high, you go in the pit. Too high, too low. Either way, you're in the pit. 